guys look the fbi reports at least 57 bomb threats to hbcus and other institutions since jane 57 y'all i did not think the number was that high. you know what i'm not even surprised it says historically black schools pl- uh, Places of worship and other faith-based academic institutions have received threats. Look, it says, listen to the article. Can we do that? FBI reports at least 57 bomb threats to HBCUs, other institutions since January. Historically, black schools, places of worship, and other faith-based and academic institutions have received threats, officials said. News by Lauren Lumpkin. The FBI said 57 historically black colleges and universities, places of worship, and other faith-based and academic institutions received bomb threats between January 4th and February 16th. That's that's, a, that's just a little over a month. That's what, 12 days over a month? That's a month and 12 days. In a month and 12 days, 57. And y'all know I've been keeping up on this. They didn't... They didn't um, put all of them on the news but this is a lot i like this little reading little thing right here who is this the washington post okay washington post stepping your game up all right but you know what i was just thinking about this when i woke up all this technology is really dumbing people down all right let me let it play out the bureau is investigating the incidents as hate crimes Hampton University on Wednesday was the latest historically black school to be targeted, the school said in a statement. The incident is among dozens of threats that have been made against HBCUs since the beginning of the year, sparking fear, anger, and anxiety on campuses. The threats have been made via phone call, email, instant message, and anonymous posts online, the FBI said in a statement Wednesday. The agency has said its investigation is of the high... Yo, who the he- who's instant... They're instant messaging the school... Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Can't you just trace back IP address? I told y'all this wasn't okay. You can just trace back IP addresses. They said it's bad. It been made via phone call. This ain't back in the day. Email, instant messages, and anonymous posts online. Mm. Highest priority. With 31 FBI field offices working with local, state, and federal law enforcement. Authorities have yet to find any explosive devices, but officials said that the threats are being treated with the utmost seriousness and that law enforcement will remain vigilant to protect our communities. Agents are conducting hundreds of interviews and gathering electronic evidence, officials said. We recognize the fear and disruption this has caused across the country, and we will continue our work to make sure people feel safe in their communities, schools, and places of worship, officials said. The FBI on February 2nd said as many as six juveniles were suspected to be involved in making threats. The threat at Hampton University in Virginia came Wednesday around 8.45 a.m., the university said in a statement. The campus of about 3,500 students was placed on lockdown. At least eight HBCUs were threatened January 4th, and six received threats January 31st. Mm. On February 1st, at least 16 universities closed or swept their campuses. More schools since then, including North Carolina a and State University, Howard University, Fayetteville State University, and Spelman College, have received threats. Howard and Spelman also had received earlier threats. The FBI has encouraged people who notice suspicious activity to submit a tip. I also want to say that um, it, it was other schools that received threats too, like Yale and and those schools. Those were one of the earlier schools to receive threats. Uh, if you go through, I, I should have, a, I think I put it all in my little bomb threat things in one folder. So, all right, we up to 57 now, y'all, since January. But this started earlier. Go through, look at the other reports I have on it. And y'all have a a blessed day. All right.